Attorneys for the family of Stephen Taylor have filed a $10 million federal civil rights lawsuit against the city of San Leandro and two police officers there for shooting and killing Taylor two years ago today. Crown Force Dan Kerman reports. He meant a great deal to us, and we're going to miss him very much. The mother of Stephen Taylor joined attorneys for the family Tuesday to announce they filed a wrongful death lawsuit against the city of San Leandro and two police officers alleging the killing of Taylor at the hands of police violated his civil rights and the American with Disabilities Act. The city of San Leandro and the police department certainly have blood on their hands. This is a situation that was wholly preventable, should not have happened, but for officers violating their training but for the city of San Leandro turning a blind eye to the pattern and conduct of its officers. It was on April 18th of 2020 when police confronted Taylor at Walmart on Hesperian Boulevard. Police say officer Jason Fletcher advised Taylor to drop an aluminum bat, and when he didn't, police say Fletcher tased him twice. Authorities say Taylor felt the shock of the taser and pointed the bat at the ground. Police say that's when Fletcher shot Taylor in the chest, killing him. San Leandro police determined Taylor posed no threat at the time he was shot. Manslaughter charges have been filed against Officer Fletcher, but this civil rights suit targets Fletcher, another officer, and the city of San Leandro for its policies or lack of policies when it comes to dealing with people in a mental health crisis. We need a mental health response. We, we want San Leandro to create a mental health department. Uh, we want to see a, 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 a unit able to respond to individuals in mental health crisis without the reliance on uh, military tactics. In a statement, the city of San Leandro said it will defend itself against the lawsuit. It also acknowledged Taylor's death has led to significant changes in the San Leandro Police Department's use of force policies and training and has spurred productive discussion throughout the community about racial justice and social equity. The lawsuit is seeking $10 million. Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News.